Well, I'm a big sports guy, but uh, I'm very much involved in road cycling. So I'm going to make a commitment to, to uh, take that to the next level this month. And uh, walking, I as well walk. My wife and I uh, walk a lot, but uh, cycling is a passion of mine. So that'll be my big commitment, not only this month, but beyond this month. I actually do prefer to be out in the country roads. I'm on the uh, outer edge uh, so, uh, of the city, so it's easy for me to access the uh, the uh, outer roads as well as the Greater Niagara Circle route, uh, which uh, runs through Thorold and is a, a multi-use path that uh, is a, is an excellent cycling uh, area. The Niagara Circle route, where work uh, when you hit Port Robinson in Thorold, um, we have a ferry. Um, which allows you to go across the Welland Canal and actually cut the circle route in half. So if you don't want to do the whole circle route, you can do half the circle route, take the ferry across, move on to Chippewa and either go north or south from that point. So uh, we really uh, get a lot of traction with, uh, with the ferry in Port Robins Robinson and uh, it's becoming more popular all the time and it's, uh, and it's uh, free to the community. Um, it's uh, put on uh, through a joint thing between the city of Thorold and the region of Niagara, and uh, it's an outstanding uh, hidden gem. Let's put it that way. I've got some uh, laid out here that I put together. Uh, obviously, the Greater Niagara Circle Route, which runs from uh, through the city of Thorold from our northern boundary to our southern boundary and it's beautiful scenic ride along the Welland Canal corridor. That's uh, probably the most popular. Um, we also uh, completed a multi-use uh, multi path that starts on the corner of DQ Road and Richmond Street and goes all the way up to the uh, Niagara Regional Headquarters uh, International Plaza. And uh, that's another safe multi-use paved uh, path that uh, people can access and uh, know that they're in a safe environment. They don't have to worry about being on the road. Um, that's gaining a lot of traction and that's gonna be extended. We're working uh, now on extending, it's under construction now, that will go from the International Plaza down to Collier Road. And then next year we're working on extending it from Collier Road right to our downtown area. So that will give people the opportunity uh, to have a beautiful, uh, safe, multi-use path uh, um, experience and uh, put some distance in as well. And uh, we're also working on, um, um, we're extending that path as well this year uh, from uh, Merrifield Highway to the DQ Heritage Park. So that'll be up and running. Um, we're under construction now. Uh, we're going to make, uh, we're doing an upgrade downtown in our Battle of Beaver Dams Park. And uh, when it's completed, it's going to be fully accessible. It's gonna be a great, uh, a great park to visit. And it's where we hold a lot of community events. So that's coming up. And as well, um, we have the Mel Swart, uh Lake Gibson Conservation Park on DQ Road, which has a lot of paths. It's an excellent place to go. It's uh, an outdoor experience very popular. It's really gained popularity during COVID and uh, is another great experience. And then the big one that's coming up, and I'm sure you're familiar with, <laughs> the soon to be completed Canada Games Park Legacy Facility. And uh, we're a partner in that. And uh, that's going to be able to offer all kinds of uh, opportunities for the public and fully accessible. And uh, we're excited about that. I mean, I'm excited about the future uh, of our trails, our parks, and uh, all our amenities. Yeah, and like you said, what's coming in uh, a year or so with uh, that park, with uh, in association with the games, that is going to be a really a crown jewel for the province and maybe even the country, right? Absolutely, and it's located in the city of Thorold, which makes it even better. <laughs> <laughs> I hear St. Catharines is kind of fighting you on that border, but uh, that's... <laughs> well, you know what? It's a very unique situation because when you drive into Brock University, 
On your right hand side, you're in St. Catharines, and on your left hand side, you're in Thorold. The Canada Games Park facility is on the left hand side. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We all work together. We got a great relationship with the city of St. Catharines, the region, Brock University, and ourselves. So it's it's all good. That's terrific. Well, I think that uh, our, our role is uh, to provide amenities, but we also have to lead by example. And uh, I think that's important, that we lead by example and set the tone for others in our community. Um, it's important not only to me, but I know all of council and staff, and we put a lot of pride and uh, we put a lot of work in this area. And the city of Thorold's uh, priority is on being diverse, inclusive, and welcoming community free of racism and discrimination. And we're a member of the Coalition of Inclusive Communities, uh, which, with, which the region joined and we signed on to, as well as other municipalities in Niagara. And uh, we must lead by example and always, always strive to improve and get better. And uh, we're very active as well at the committee level. Um, we have committees of council that do great work. And uh, some of them are our age-friendly committee, uh, our Parks, Trails, and Recreation Committee, our Thorold Active Transportation Advisory Committee, and our Joint Accessibility, <coughs> Accessibility Advisory Committee. And these committees do a lot of great work, but they make recommendations to council, and council acts on them. And uh, a lot of them are to do with accessibility issues. And uh, so we've come a long way, and these committees have done laid a lot of groundwork for us and uh, I think there's a good buzz in the community and uh, you know people want to want the community to offer the amenities and uh, COVID-19 has taught us one thing is that uh, people are really appreciating getting outdoors more and I think that that's going to be one thing that is going to be a lasting legacy of this is uh, uh, outdoor amenities you know uh, activities such as cycling hiking uh, we're really seeing a lot of people out in the community, in the parks, in the trails, and uh, I look forward to that continuing, and I look forward to us improving those amenities in the community. Well, I think the benefits of being active are, are, are real and vast. I look at it from my own personal opinion. I find that the more active I am, uh, I find that mentally and physically I feel better. Um, I think I think clearer, have more stamina, uh, you sleep better. And I think it also leads you to other areas of lifestyle like healthier eating and different things because it's all encompassing. Um, I know if I've had a stressful day and uh, I've been in a lot of meetings, if I go hop on my bike and go for a ride, um, I just feel so much better when I come home. It just is a good stress reliever. And uh, uh, I just find that I do some of my best thinking when I'm out on my bike. And mm -hmm. uh, I just find that uh, the benefits are there. I mean, uh, you, you know, when you're involved and you're active, you, you, you feel the benefits of that. And uh, personally, myself, I find if I'm not active, I really notice the difference. You know, I did. Um, I went to the uh, Niagara Falls Convention Center when the event was there and uh, I uh, tried the seated volleyball. Um, one thing, though, I'm looking forward to trying, hopefully I'll be able to do this uh, at the Canada Games Park facility, is I'm, I'd be interested in trying sledge hockey. I'm a hockey fanatic as well, but I, I, I think that's something that I would, I would like to try. So what I'd say is uh, let's come together as a community. Uh, find an activity that interests you and pursue it. And, and if it's more than one activity, all the better. Um, you know, reap the benefits of an active, healthy life, lifestyle 
and continue on with it, not only in the month of June. Let's make this a, a lifestyle change and part of your daily life. I think that's uh, the message I'd like to get out there. And I think that if people do become involved and see the benefits, they will uh, continue, or a large majority, I think, will continue. And I think we're seeing that right now. And so this is a good time to build on that momentum, I think.